Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Luigi's Mansion. Last time cleaned up some of the mini game bosses, the ghosts, and I don't know why I said that. Mini boss ghosts, not mini game bosses. And we also got a few boos. So we're feeling pretty good now. We're on the third floor. We cleaned out the safari room, if you remember that. And we gained the key to the balcony, which is right over here. Prepare yourselves for a boss fight. That's basically what this episode's gonna be. Hopefully you enjoy it, like I enjoy you. And if you enjoy boss fights, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing, and enjoy yourselves a nice unicorn statue. So, yeah, this is the balcony. The balcony. Not the little one, this is the official one, not with any stupid toads on it. And when you walk around a balcony like this, you might wonder what you're going to see besides unicorn statues. Well, in fact, it's a circle of booze. Go ahead and talk to them and have them try to gossip behind our back, even though we're technically here. So it's in front of our front. So here we go. They're going to assume their real form. You won't like me in my real form. Here you go. Things are getting a little hectic. 15 boos all around. I wonder what they could turn into. What do you think 15 boos turns into, viewers? Now I'll tell you. If your guess was one giant boo, you are correct. There you go. This, my friends, is Boo Losses. Not technically the big boo. I mean, it is a big boo, but it's not the big boo. Okay, so this is Boo Lost. This fight is kind of tough. I don't have a lot of experience with it. I just kind of played around with it a little bit. So you're going to want to dodge Boo Lost the best that you can and try to knock him into the um, knock him into the unicorn statues. I don't know why. And get yourself some ice element. When you do get the ice element, the game will let you do it correctly. You can start... Freezing the booze against the ground and hopefully get to them before Bulasis reforms. This whole thing is basically just a war of attrition of trying to wear out Bulasis and suck up the uh, little booze. You can do the um, you can do the kind of ice shot attack, but I like to just kind of do the ice spray man attack. Seems to work out better for me. What you will notice here in a moment is that the um, this fight obviously is kind of it doesn't. I wouldn't say it has phases exactly. We all go through phases, but not this one. Um, and for some reason, over time, when you freeze over little itty bitty pieces of Boo Losses and you slam them into the unicorn statue, I don't understand any of the lore of this. Um, Boo Lossus will shrink. We all shrink a little bit when we get cold, so I understand. So Boo Lossus will shrink, and you'll have to suck up the little frozen boos. And in doing so, he gets a little bit quicker, a little bit hoppier, like an IPA, and a boop. Okay, apparently that didn't work. But also it did, okay. So yeah. The one thing that makes this fight, I think, tough, beyond the fact that it's getting faster, is that I'm never 100% sure what my hitbox is for these boos. Like, they don't have any trouble hitting me, but... I'm clearly doing a really poor job of hitting them, so... This is fun. I can imagine this kind of being a big part of how this fight's going to go for the next few minutes. So enjoy, viewers. Yeah, I don't... Because they can kind of escape the... Um, they can kind of escape the arena, which is, seems unfair. And they can also unfreeze, so... It might be easier in certain cases just to try to use the, um, the ice shot. Also being very careful in managing your health. I don't think that there's any sort of health refill that I'm aware of, so if you goof this one, you're just kind of toast. Unless you've been 
saving religiously, which I have not, so... You might be able to use the ice shot. So one downside is like the ice, um, ice spray is kind of slow. It's not really very effective. It kind of goes everywhere. And I, it, it looks like I'm like doing what I'm supposed to, but the game is not having any of my, uh, any of my attempts here. But this is like the middle phase of Bulosis. I also don't know how to shoot the thing. There we go. If I get them, it almost feels entirely accidental, if I'm being 100% serious here. But we're doing okay. So far, so good. Not as bad as... I mean, I don't know if I'd necessarily say I care for this fight. Um, it is very repetitive. And over time, you'll learn that Bulasis, you don't really, like, capture it so well. You just kind of smash it into the statue. All right, we got two more to do. Two more here. Ooh, I thought I got him. I did not got him. I would love to got him, though. I have to lure them back into the uh, playing field here. Just got to be very careful here. I don't want to goof this up right at the end. That'd be really unfortunate. And it almost makes me wonder. I, I do not have a ton of experience with this. Um... Makes me wonder if there's a potential that you could uh, suck them up with your poltergust and then kind of ice them at the same time. This is when the uh, boss fight gets incredibly unfun. <laughs> Come here, you jerks. Oh, that didn't count? I don't know if there's any sort of like homing on this or not. I don't think so. But you go through a lot of ice really fast. Not very ice of the game to do this. All right, there we go. I didn't even do that. That was not me. Just trying not to die here. I don't know. Come here, you little bugger. This is so fun. Glad they made this a required part of this game. Yeah, once they fly outside the arena, you can't even touch them. So it does become an ever-present frustration. If I do say so myself. I'm already forgetting the rules of of battle here. All right, maybe if I run away. Come on. Yes. Okay, one more. If you just want to hang out in an easily conspicuous place where I can shoot you with my ice cannon. Just a little. Yeah. Looks like we're going to need a little bit more time here. Oop. We have the one final. I mean, technically, it should never reform because it doesn't have anything to reform into. You just want to hang out, man. You just want to come. <laughs> there we go, viewers. Ha ha, indeed. Ugh, stressful. But uh, yeah, guys, that's area three all sitched up. That's the blue key. I say that like I know what that means. Okay, and we got, of course, the 15 boos added to our boo radar. So it's very good. Let's see what uh, Egad wants to to do. Once again, no uh, updated dialogue, just kind of the same. Okay, great. An old family recipe: pickled dandelions with barnacle. Oof. That sounds uh, delectable. Okay, and then we obviously we get. Warped into another scene back to the Animal Crossing coffee shop to see how many ghosts. We've actually got quite a few this time around. I don't know how many were in Area 3, but it feels like a lot. I would imagine. It feels like more than five. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Once again, some Twilight Princess. Warping music. I wonder how often they reuse their sound effects. I think I already made that point, but it still makes me pretty interested. And, you know, once again, haven't seen this twice already. Okay, there's Boo Lossus. Uh, I couldn't see what that was. Looked like Nana, maybe. The Weightlifter Ghost. I don't know any of their names. The Pool Guy? 
the guy eating stuff, maybe? Or was that last time? That's Nana. I don't know any of these. The twins, don't worry, game. Can you help me out? You are welcome, Egad. I don't think we got a lot of money in this one, though. There weren't a lot of gems. All right, Madam Clairvoya, that's who that was. Biff Atlas. Nana. Miss Petunia. Oh, she was the one in the shower. Slim Bankshot. Henry and Orville and Boo Lossus. Okay, so that's the seven of area three. 16 total ghosts. Pretty darn good. Yeah, I don't remember us getting a lot of gems or anything like that. I probably missed some stuff. Area three kind of fell behind a little bit financially. Unless I'm just making, okay, maybe I'm just making stuff up. I don't remember any of this being in area three. But so far, 41 million J. Pretty darn good. Let's, uh, you know what? I haven't actually checked this out yet. I kept talking about how I would do it, and this episode's a little light. So, I'm gonna see... Can you look at the... Oh, okay. That's nice, and this music is very strange. Um... Oof, Nana. Looking a little, uh... Past your prime. Well, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like a Van Gogh. No, don't do that. Hmm. Madame Clairvoya, RIP. Hmm. Again. Oh, this is the dude in the hallway? I don't know how that really counts, because, like... Hmm. Oof. A little pixelated. Hmm. This music is very strange. I'm not sure I necessarily care for it. Who's this? Oh, that's, uh, Bogmire. Oh, yeah, I forgot this one. Here we go. Oh, no, I did that one. That's the, uh, the guy who was just trying to enjoy his ghastly meal. Here's the mom. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they did them in, like, some of them at least in different styles. The rest of these just kind of look, like, random. I don't know. Who is, who's the, I don't know. Very confused. That's the lady who we interrupted her shower, like a poivert. Uh, that's the dancing couple, I think. Hmm. This is Fido, or whatever his name was. Hmm. The twins. Hmm. See, that one doesn't look like any of the rest of them, though. Like, that looks like clip art. Hmm. And, of course, Boo Lossus. I don't know if... I don't think I've missed anything so far. So, I guess it'll really depend on oh, yeah. how stuff winds up being in the final area of the game? Yeah. I like how you can ask him basic stuff still. How do we do the, the, the stuff that's like episode one stuff? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. Well, it appears that we now have the key for... Uh, it looks like I'm missing some stuff. But we can head up there at least. We can kill some time. Ha, huh, get it. Time is a flat circle. Actually, wait. Uh, can I get out from here? No. I actually don't understand how you can't get to the rest of it from the second floor. I think all the things you do have to basically be from the foyer. Getting upstairs, you have to go downstairs? That makes sense, right? Hmm. Or wait, hold on. It's going. Oh, oops. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there's more to do that I haven't seen, but you know, obviously, I will figure this out. I I did say for hmm. candidness that I don't know if I'll necessarily wind up going and hundred percenting this game just because I don't know what that means exactly. But now all we have to do is go down. I'm sure that they probably give you keys in area four that unlock stuff in areas two and three. That's kind of, I mean, that's what happened with the uh, the twins. So, but apparently this staircase has not been fully cleared out because Luigi is not having it. Okay. So we're going to head back up here. 
Back out to the balcony, which is supposedly safe. Yes. We've cleared it out. The Boo Losses fight has been done. And uh, yeah, next time we will uh, begin exploring the final area. We're getting to the end of this game, guys. Hopefully you've been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Luigi's Mansion, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye.